if you want to get high quality environment in Maya and been able to render them with RenderMan, you are now able to convert your view scene in Maya and get automatically all the RenderMan shaders and material. Let's take a look how this is working. We will first create a new Maya scene. We want to make sure that we use the RenderMan as default render engine. In the Maya menu, we will use the View plugin and create a new scene or we can also load a scene that you have created with the View standalone application. When you have created your new scene, you will create a new terrain and you will change the shape of it. We will apply a different terrain material and create an ecosystem. We can select the plant we want to use and we will define how we want to populate it. If you like the scene that you have created, you will be able to convert the view scene and get the Maya meshes and get the RenderMan shaders and material. We have several options in the conversion window. First, you make sure to convert the terrain at the maximum quality at 100%. Then, you want to bake the procedural texture in bitmaps. You have several options to define the quality of your bitmaps. You are able to convert your ecosystem. You can convert all of them using the conversion option to get RenderMan rib objects or Maya meshes. If you select the RenderMan rib option, View will create an encapsulated proxy or standing object. You will be able to see a basic representation in the viewport, but you will get much better performance. Also, to optimize the populate operation, you can use the MASH instancing technology instead of the Maya standard instancing. You will get much better performance. When you're ready, you hit the export button. When the conversion is completed, you can close the view scene in Maya because there is no need to use it at this point anymore. Now, if we open the hypergraph, we can see that all of the shadings are RenderMan materials. You have the flexible option to add, edit or modify any of those RenderMan parameters values. We will add a RenderMan light to the scene and we will change the Maya viewport to the RenderMan option. As you can see, it is fast and very effective. This concludes this quick overview and if you want to learn more about view and how to use it with RenderMan, I invite you to visit our website. I want to thank you for your time and have a great day. Oh,